Today I'm going to show you how to install the front hub motor with the axle onto the front fork of your bike. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you is the axle that comes with the hub motor. It's about 10 millimeter wide. So you have to make sure that your dropout is at least 10 mm. This is another bike of mine and it also has a quick release like the other bike. And um, I originally planned to install the electric motor onto this bike. But, show you this. The dropout on this bike is only nine point something nine point three millimeter and I need at least ten so that means that uh, this one is gonna need some serious filing it has to be very accurate because it the the axle of the electric motor has to be perfectly fit inside this dropout and it has to be a perfect fit So that's why I changed my plan and installed the electric motor on the other bike instead. So if you want to install the hub motor on the your front fork, make sure that your dropout is at least 10 millimeter. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna be in for a big surprise. Usually, bikes with dropout like this one, it has smaller axle. I'll show you the axle. It's quite small. So that's why the dropout is usually smaller. I'm trying to install my axle uh, into the dropout here, but uh, you can see that there's a gap about, I would say, one and a half millimeter gap. So I guess I have to file this down a bit. That part right there. Yeah. In that part right there and it is the same on this side also my washers are on the way but you can see here there's a, there's a gap right here here we go Show you the other side. What surprises me is that this aluminum is quite soft, so it's quite easy to file it off. It doesn't take me long at all, probably around five to ten minutes. There we go. Now my axle sits nice and tight down the dropout. There's no more gap. You know, one millimeter gap doesn't sound like much, but this is precision engineering, so it's a lot. There we go. It's all the way up there, and there's no more gap. Same on this side. Beautiful. This fork here is designed for a quick release wheel, like this one here. This is the original wheel with a quick release. So it's got an indentation here. Now the washer that's uh, from my motor doesn't really fit. You see there, there's a gap. It doesn't go all the way in. See? Now I can file this down a little bit more, but that one's gonna be too much. Uh, probably about two or three more millimeter that will make this fork down here this part here too thin and I don't want to ruin my fork so I think I'm gonna put another uh, a washer in there to uh, to make this part thicker so that this will stay straight when I put it in I searched around my local hardware store only found these two kind of washer this is half inch, this is 5.8. Well, 
the half inch washer it's too small doesn't fit the 5 8 washer it's too big see that <laughs> it's ridiculous and there's nothing in between so what should I do Maybe some swearing will do. Let me do this off camera. Now it fit. Problem is, that's not a problem. There's too many problems. This part here on the top here now doesn't doesn't fit. Just a little bit too too big on the on the top here. Actually, on the bottom, if my bike is. Uh, it's the other way down but anyway this part here got to be cut um, so maybe I'm gonna do this and then cut just this part right here because this is a lock washer that is cut right here so it's already got to cut I'm just gonna cut this part here should fit Oh, this is hard. Wow. This is really tough. Look at that. Wow. This can't even cut that. That's amazingly hard. Plan B. There we go. Perfectly fit in there. Okay. Now I put this washer on. It will be straight and flush. You see that? Now I just have to drop this in like so. Sure, it's uh, fits nice and neat. Tighten up the bolt. Voila! I'm done. Do the same on the other side. Uh, should be good to go. The indentation in here is now being occupied by this washer, like so. So now, when I put this washer on. Everything is going to stay flat and flush. I thought I'm done, but I think I just found a new problem. Let me walk my bike and let you hear the noise coming from the axle. The scratching noise comes from the screw touching the fork so you can see all the way in there that screw all the way in there that one right there touching my fork and you can see the scratches on the screw on the screw head like this one here right on the head that's the scratch right on the head same here this one right here scratch right on the head scratching on the fork so I need some more spacing right there so I need another washer right in there to space it out a little bit well I tried to put this in there and I got bad news um, that side on the inner side of the fork there's an indentation just like this although it's a little bit less but it doesn't fit 
this washer just like that so it doesn't stay flash and flush in when I put it in there it's got to be small enough the ring is going to be small enough just like that so guess what I'm just going to make my own washer from this aluminum piece this is from a heat sink Not the best looking washer in the world, actually, it's the world's ugliest washer. But it should work, that's all I care. I just need just a little bit of clearance, that's all. I don't ask for much. Whoops. That's that. Now, Just like that. See if it goes in. There you go. Boom. Cool. Let's spin it. There we go. I have about half a millimeter of clearance. But the important thing is it's not scraping. my fork anymore yeah the screw now has some clearance no more scraping <laughs>